and then okay having uh, here is god's mission god's mission and uh, here uh, we can see that uh, uh, god's objective and then having man's objective two things we will see here genesis 1 chapter 1 and 26 to 8 so anybody can help me to uh, read this scripture anybody like to read <coughs> You're doing good, Vivek. That's a great way to start something. Is immediately ask people to read. Pull them in. Don't do the talking and the yes. preaching. Yeah, it's awesome. Sorry, Vivek. I'm just Genesis 1:26. 26 to 28. Okay, yeah, I'll read it. I'll just got to find it. 26 to 28. Uh, then God said, "Let us make man kind and kind in our image and our likeness." so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky over the livestock and all the wild animals and over all the creatures that move along the ground so god created mankind in his own image in the image of god he created them male and female he created them god blessed them and said to them be fruitful and increase in number fill the earth and subdue it rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky over every living creature that moves on the ground yes yes thank you thank you sister and then uh, here what we can see in this scriptures about god's objective so um, yeah anybody can say also image. yes god's and, um, image yes thank you nice nice yeah and, um, god's image or so anything <clears throat> or anything on god's image that's nice and then anything um you fill the sky with or fill the earth with fish and sea and birds yeah sorry i can't hear oh no 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 can you hear me vivek Yes, hello. Yes, hearing. Oh, so that the humans, the man and the woman can uh rule over the yes, fish and the birds, good. the creatures. Yes, we can see here rules. Yeah. Yeah, ruling over the world. <clears throat> and then anything? And then here in this verse we can see uh be fruitful. Yeah, be fruitful. Also we can try it. yeah or god's objective and uh, another things increasing yeah increasing also oh increase the number yeah increase the number and then is it having a man's objective in this scriptures genesis 1 and 26 to 28 anything uh-huh. man's objective I don't know what that means. Does it, what does that mean? Um Sorry for I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Uh yeah, no problem. He, here nothing is there about man's objectives. Yeah. And then uh, yeah, then we'll see in another scriptures uh, Genesis chapter 3. Genesis chapter 3. We'll read Yeah, I think if we read that it's going to take too long, but maybe you can just quickly tell them the story. Okay, yeah. So, uh, yeah, Genesis chapter 3 we can see the the fell the yeah, uh, the fell means that means there is a, uh, okay, I, I'm trying to read fastly and it is it is good for us. Okay. Now the serpent was uh, more cut uh carty and uh, uh, sorry Carefully, and then any of the will animals of the Lord God had made, He said to the woman, "Did God really say, 'You must not eat from any tree in the garden'?" The woman said to the serpent, "We may eat, we may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, but God did say, 'You must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden, and you must not touch it or your will you will die you will not certainly die the 
serpent serpent said to the woman for god knows that when you eat from it your eyes will be open and you, and you will be like god knowing good and evil so here we can see the about uh, people and evil evil spirit serpent what's happened in eden garden yeah, this story everybody every uh, christian people i think so knowing knowing so uh, in this scripture so what we can see about the god's objective and man's objective yeah so first uh, first uh, tell uh, tell us about god's objective anything here they created a garden for them to live forever but they weren't allowed to touch one Hello. thing in the garden Yeah. But they did. I didn't listen. They hear no ears. So uh yeah, in this uh chapter we can see about the uh, uh Eve. Adam and Eve and uh, with having serpents. So what happened in in this story you uh, everybody knowing. So uh, God God commanded uh, to obey obey the rules. Uh, yeah. God said you don't eat f- 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 uh, that uh, the fruits and but what they did they disobedient this they, they, they disobedient they didn't listen they didn't listen and ate That's the fruit right. yeah. yeah the woman told the man the woman yeah. ate it and then gave it to the man yeah man disobedient yeah she listened and, to uh, the serpent they, yeah they uh, they listened to the serpent yeah yeah they listen to the serpent and god's object what will come obey his way and to them obey yes good mm. yeah nice and then uh, genesis 6:1 to 5 it's actually the genesis of the 6 verse 1 and verse 5 yes one in bible Yeah. This so, is 6 so maybe I should five. So maybe I should, should do, do it that <laughs> so way. Anybody wants to read? Genesis 1 and 5. Oh. Yep. And it came to pass when men became to multiply, is that it? Yep. Genesis 6, yeah, 1. Okay, and it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth. and daughters were born unto them that the sons of god saw the daughters of men that they were fair and they took them uh as wives oh took them as wives for all which they chose okay. and the lord said my spirit shall not always strive with man for that he also is flesh yet his days shall be and oh shall be an 120 years and get that there were giants in the earth in those days and also after that when the sons of god came and unto the daughters of men and they bear children to them the same became mighty the same became mighty men which were of old men of renown holy heck. and god saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every uh, imagination of of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually so um yeah praise god here we can see them uh here we can see uh, wickedness in the world about uh, the it is a story about it. wickedness in the world and one and verse five we read and what we can see here god's objective so just just read verse 1 and only verse 5 because you, it's only in those two verses just verse 1 oh, and, and it's yes. not all the verses otherwise you get lost okay 1 and 5 only yeah oh 1 and 5 sorry yeah he's reading it <coughs> yeah when uh, okay i'm reading uh, please hear uh, here clearly when human beings 
uh, began to increase in the number on the earth and daughters were born to them okay and then five the lord saw how great the wickedness of the human race had become on the earth and that every inclination of the thoughts of the human heart was only evil all the time yes and yeah. then so did you get god's objective anything they were multiplying in the earth yes multiplying that means increasing yeah what so how um mm-hmm. okay. crazy they were going naughty yeah a wickedness yeah. of the human race men who came to me yes a uh, man was, object um, we can see their heart yeah. was only evil all the time yes thank you thank you nice mm-hmm. yeah men was a uh, sinful or men was just evil yeah yes mm-hmm. thank you nice thank you. nice nice sure and then uh, uh, we will come in genesis 9 and 1 verse 1 Then it says chapter 9 and verse 1. I can read that. It says, uh, Then God blessed Noah and his sons, saying to them, Be fruitful and increase in number and fill the earth. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Nankal. And then what we can see here, God's objective? He blessed Noah and his sons. Be fruitful and multiply. And replenish the earth. Yes, we can see here. Well, What we can see? Be fruitful. Yeah. And here also increase. Yeah. Increase in the number and fill the earth. <laughs> yep. Yes. Nice. And then what we can see about the uh, man's objective? Uh, yeah. Man's objective? They did it. <laughs> nothing <laughs> no, 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 nothing it's a trick, <laughs> trick oh, question no. it's a trick quick <laughs> question oh. <laughs> well, just, well they could yeah. be fruitful they were they multiplied yeah. they did <laughs> and they were pretty much the earth same mom yes yeah. okay yeah nice enjoying we are enjoying thank you nice nice and then uh, shall we uh, read the genesis 11 and 4 Yeah, Genesis chapter 11, 4. 11 and 4. 11 and 4. Okay, so I'm just finding yes. it. Um, then they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city with a tower that reaches to the heavens so that we may make a name for ourselves. Otherwise, we will be scattered over the face of the whole earth. Yes. And what we can see here? God's Nothing. objective. Uh, is nothing there is it nothing <laughs> no yeah actually, actually, just think actually, just yeah, think about that <laughs> build something to reach the heavens so you know tell his talk his talk otherwise they'll be scattered yeah, over the yeah, face of the world wouldn't that yes. be yeah is, a scatter yeah a scatter over the world over the yeah. earth wouldn't that just yes. be main objective and not right. God? uh, right. god's objective uh oh. yes man's objective the one to reach heaven. heaven yes thank you heaven. thank you yeah. and then god's objective i don't know i don't see a god's objective in that well, yeah scatter over know. the earth no that was not god's objective what no? we no we we can't re- see that because they don't say god wanted to scatter them but does say there that they and they didn't want to be scattered because it says so that we will make a name for themselves so they want to make a name yes uh, for themselves okay. uh and the other thing is uh, as of and not be scattered over the earth so they didn't so they did not want to be scattered yeah they did not want to scatter yeah because because it's nice yeah. to be scattered Yeah, of course we yeah, great. So that's what I see. Okay. Sorry, Vivek, go go on. Yes, thank you so much. Yes, nice, nice. And then uh so we will uh, we will practice to uh, this one also. Who does God wants to raise 
reach genesis to revelation uh, who is going to use and how mm-hmm. far does god wants to go so so probably at this point if i do training i would actually um uh just summarize and say hey look at the difference a big difference between god's objective god wanted us to fill the earth and and be fruitful so that's what we've seen all of this fruitful and increase in genesis chapter 1 we see genesis the fall he wants us to obey his plan but we didn't want to in genesis chapter 6 increase in the earth in genesis chapter 9 uh fruitful and fill the earth so all the time god has a plan to to fill the earth and be fruitful and fill the earth so and then we see in uh the man's objective was uh, uh to be disobedient to find knowledge to do evil not to fill the earth so they were not wanting to go do what god wants to do so we don't right. see any way that the man says yes god we want to fill the earth and do what you want it's like they would they were pulling in the opposite direction of god we see this big thing yeah. god's objective man's objective is just different opposite opposites yes pride okay so yeah, that's nice. that's good to summarize this yes so when people are studying this at this point summarize <laughs> and then you move on yes good yes okay. good it is good good idea it's good way yeah yeah And you're doing thank well. You, you're doing you. you're doing great. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yes, thank you. I'm learning and learning. Yeah. And it's a it's in my if if I'm doing my language it's a very different to do. Yeah, and, it's okay. very uh <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it's harder. <laughs> it's, yep. It's it is not my yeah, it is not my mother tongue. It's no. a father tongue. <laughs> you're doing very well. <laughs> Okay. Father tongue. Okay. Uh, yes. got the him here all Vivek. Vivek is got jokes tonight. He's in a good mood. He's yes. a great guy. Father tongue. Yes. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. And uh yeah, shall we do <coughs> this one also? Yep. And somebody's been drawing off a paper full of red lines. I don't know if it's Darlene playing on the paper. Ah, uh, oh. <laughs> maybe. I'm not sure. I also oh, not sure. Which is me? I'm sorry. I was sorry, sorry. looking uh, at this. No, it doesn't matter. I'm also. I'm just <laughs> laughing as well. I'm having fun as well. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah, you're here having a uh, very cold. It's uh, started winter season in my Bihar. Yes. Okay. Yes, uh, uncle, do you want to do? Uh, uh, you want to do? I uh, I should do this one also. Yeah, you can do, do th- this race. one. You can do this one as well. And then, okay. Uh, shall we read the scriptures from Genesis twelve and one to three? Genesis twelve and then one to three. So you let's say you do 3 I do 3 and then we get somebody else to do the last 3. So let's do it that way. So you do 3 and then I'll do 3. Okay, yes. Thank you. And then uh, Genesis uh, chapter 12 and 1 to 3. Scriptures did you get anybody? Yeah, I'll do. Okay. Okay. Hmm. What what is it? Sorry? Genesis 12. One. Genesis 12. Chapter 12. 1 2 3 verses. Okay, wait. Sorry. 1 3 to 3. The Lord had said to Abram, "Go from your country, your people, and your father's household to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you." I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and whoever curses you I will curse. And all the peoples on the yeah. earth will be blessed through you. Yes, what an thank you. Thank you so Me. much. Thank you for reading. And oh, then yeah. what we can see here uh, who whom uh, who is God using? Abraham. Abraham. God using. Oh. Abraham. Wow, right answer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very well. We need to clap for 
Yeah. <laughs> 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 and then okay, and then uh, here what we can see and another thing, how far does God wants to go? Into the earth. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Yeah. And he'll make a good, na- great nation, and he'll bless them. Yes, and make a great nation. Okay. Yeah, he's saying how far does God wants to go? Yeah, great nation, and we can say all people on the earth. Yeah, everywhere. And, and everyone on the earth will be blessed through Abraham. Yeah. Yes. Thank yeah. You. All Thank people. You. That's right. All people. On the, the earth. Yeah. <coughs> yes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. Nice answer. Very well. Yeah. And then, then we shall be going another, another question, another uh, uh, scriptures, Exodus and nineteen, chapter nineteen and five to six, five and six. Okay. Oh, do I read again? Yes. Yeah. You okay. can read. Um. Okay. Now, if you obey me fully and keep my covenant, and out of all nations you will be my treasured possession. Although the whole earth is mine, you will be for me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words you are to speak to the Israelites. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Thank God you. Said Did you read? Oh, yeah. yeah five good. and six. Five, five and six. six. Yeah. yeah. Good. Um, God saying if, if if they fully obey His covenant, then all the nations will be His treasure, treasured possession. Although the world yeah. is already His. Oh, God. yes, yeah. Thank you, thank you. And what we can see here, oh, who, who is God, God using? <clears throat> the Israelites. Israelites, wow, thank you, thank you, right answer, thank you so much, yeah, Israelites, okay. and then how far does God wants to go? Into the earth, everywhere, everywhere, wow, all nations, yeah, God wants to go <laughs> all nations, yeah, I'm sorry, <laughs> everybody, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> all nations yeah god wants to go all nations yeah yeah okay can astronomical can you write for us all nations right got that yes thank you yeah and then uh, then we will read another scriptures uh psalm, psalm uh, six and uh, six and seven verses or sorry um, 67 scripture uh chapter 67 Okay, sorry, um, Psalms. Sorry, because I have to go on to my Bible on my thing and I can't. So, Psalms 67? Yeah. Yes, 67. I can read. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. So, wait, 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 when you're ready, I can read. Just let me know. Okay, yes, yeah, okay. 67 what? Please. Um, okay, 67. so here oh. we go. Um, what number? Right, so oh, the whole chapter. Uh, oh. May it's off this one. May God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face shine upon us, that your ways may be known on, on earth, your salvation among all nations. May the people praise you, O God. May all the people praise you. May the nations be glad and sing for joy, uh, for you rule the peoples justly and guide the nations of the earth. May the people praise you, O God. May all the people praise you. Then the land will yield its harvest, and God, our God, will bless us. God will bless us, and all the uh, and all the ends of the earth will fear Him. Amen. Thank you so much, Stranical. And then, uh, what we can see here, who is God using? All nations. Yeah, God wants to use all nations. Or anything? All the nations. Anything. Shall 
Well, it's not clear who he's saying he's using here. He just say let you. Uh, and I yeah. think uh, I think it was Israel because this psalm was written yeah. by Israelite, but I it's not yes. very clear. It doesn't say oh. so and so. It but it, so it's, that's it's, it's not very sense. very clear. But I think yes. maybe you could say David wrote some psalms, so maybe okay. David because yeah. he wrote a lot of yeah. them. Yes, yes, maybe maybe uh, yeah, Israel also. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, how far does God wants to go? All then, all to the end of the earth. End of the earth. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right answer. Thank yeah. you. God bless you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing great tonight, uh, Vivek. I'm yeah. doing great. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Mm. When when we are getting a good answer and it's enjoying, <laughs> my heart is enjoying. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Thank mm. you so much, Stan Uncle, giving good uh, this opportunity, and yeah, uh, yeah you can uh, hold now. Thank right. you so much. Yeah. Right. God bless you. Yeah, it's awesome. Thank you. Well done, Vivek. Okay, I'm going to do the next three. So Isaiah 49, verse five to six. Uh, who would like to read that for us? Isaiah. Um, 49. Isaiah 49. Five and six. Darlene, you want to read for us? Is it 49, five and six? Did you yeah, say 49 verse five okay. and six? Okay. Um, and now says the Lord that formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob again to him. Though Israel be not gathered, yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of the Lord, and my God shall be my strength. Hmm. Okay, and he said, "It is a light thing that thou shouldest oh, be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob, and to restore the res, restore the preserve of Israel. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles, that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth." Okay. Right. Oh, so we got the wrong Bible, man. No, it's oh, just uh, it's 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 a difficult little chapter. Maybe your translation makes it harder, but that's all okay. Um, so, <laughs> so who's God using there? So, um, let's hear from Darlene. Yes. Darlene, what do you say? Who's God using there? Yeah. What was that? What was that? Did you say? Who is who is God using in this chapter? Um, where was I? <laughs> Jacob. Yeah, the tribe of Jacob. That's yeah, great. They, so you want to use, yeah, Jacob. Uh, and, yeah, and Israel also. Zechariah and Israel. Yeah. Well, Israel be not gathered, yet shall I be get glorious in the eyes of the Lord. Yeah. And, and who, and who does he want feet. to reach? Who, um, let's ask Darlene again. Who does he want to reach? Uh, That's in, in verse 6. For Israel. No. Is no. Uh, keep, keep going. Oh, to the Gentiles. Yes, perfect. Gentiles. Who's the Gentiles? Us. Us. Hey, exactly. Hello, Gentiles. <laughs> Us. Uh, Us. Uh, Here um, we go. God. Yeah. Last question. What is the verse? Uh, verse uh, 49, verse uh, Isaiah 49, verse 5 and oh, 6. No one I got. Where are you? I was there. I was there. Um, Isaiah 5. Okay. Yeah, 49, verse 5 and 6. All right. So we go. So this is exciting. God, you can just see how God's going to use somebody to go into all the nations. Use somebody to go to the Gentiles. Use somebody to go to all the people. So you see this pattern happening in the Old Testament all the time. Mm. So kind of the Jews thought that they were the special people. But the question is, did they do that? Did the Jews go to all the nations and teach them about God? Did they do that? Not always. No, they didn't. They weren't priests right. to all the nations. They didn't go out no. to all the nations and teach them about God. They just created a special group and called themselves the yeah. Jews and the Israelites. 
and they kind of stay to themselves. They but they become monks, you know, like go and and hide in a cave and don't talk to anybody because we're so special. So yeah. So they just missed the point. God created and says you are going to be a light for all the nations and all the Gentiles. They didn't. They didn't want to have anything to do with the Gentiles. They said no. you're unclean. You're unclean. You're unclean. Yeah. I don't, don't come near our temple. Stay outside. And meanwhile, God had a plan. He wanted them in. They didn't get it. No. <laughs> yeah. Yes, amen. Matthew 28, verse 20, uh, 28, verse 18 to 20. Who can read for us? Matthew. Yeah, I will. Okay. Matthew 28. Then Matthew. Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Right. Who, who, who is God using? Jesus. No. Nope. Yeah. Oh. Disciples. All disciples. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Disciples of <laughs> disciples, because he he's busy teaching his disciples. He says, "I am appointing you to go." Right, says so disciples, right? And how far does he want to go? All nations. Again, look, look there in verse nineteen. All in nations yes. make disciples all of nations. all nations. Verse nineteen. So and, again, and in of age. Yeah, and the end of the age. End of age. Yep. Great. Uh, Acts uh, 1, verse 8. Acts 1. Oh, my God. I'm not there, sorry. That's fine. Shout when you're there. We're patient. So just when you're there, just say, I'm there, and then we'll know you're there. Acts 8, verse 1. Yes, Acts 1, verse 8. Oh, sorry. Hang on. Yes, I'm reading now. Go ahead. Verse 8. Yeah, but I'm you there. will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witness in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Right. Who's God talking to there? Who's he using? The disciples. Yeah. The disciples. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Uh, us. Yes. Oh. Yes. The <laughs> You, us. We are disciples. Yeah. Are you this is for, this for us. <laughs> right. Great. And how far does he want us to go? Um, That's the part, part of most parts of the world. Judea, all Judea, Samaria, Samaria. everywhere, everywhere, Jerusalem, all Judea, Samaria, the ends of the earth. See how it's the same than the Old Testament? It's like the same thing using people to go everywhere, using people to go everywhere. You just keep on seeing that all the time, right? Next one is say uh nikki nikki you do the next one you are now the the leader you facilitating you are now doing acts eight plus one i'm handing over to you eight, yeah, eight welcome, plus one. yes i'm you now talk we just students i um x. hang on uh, hang on sorry x hang on go on x. i just need to look at zoom X, oh, okay, yeah, all right, okay. Can everybody uh, turn to X8, verse 1? I'm just trying to find it. Yep. X8. Okay, who's going to read? <coughs> anybody want to read? Yep. Yes. Okay, go ahead, we darling. We can read for you. <clears throat> and Saul was consenting unto his death. And at, at that time, there there was a great uh, persecution against the church, which was at Jerusalem. And they were all scattered abroad throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. 
in my game. Another one. <laughs> and devout men carried Stephen to his burial and made great lamentations over him. Is it the whole? Is it the whole verse? Yeah, it's just just verse one. Oh. Oh, just Sorry, verse one. Speak. Yeah. Oh, okay, so um, all right, guys, who's who 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 in that verse is God using? <laughs> yeah, can I answer? You go ahead, Vivek. Yeah. Yeah, disciples so here also will be disciples and us, me, we can see. Yeah, disciple. <laughs> and I can I can see also the church in Jer in Jerusalem because he says the church in Jerusalem was scattered. So it's us yeah. disciples, but also the church in Jerusalem. <laughs> mm. I think it's both. Right. Okay. Great. Okay. Yes, and um, how far does God want to go? Uh, all Judea and Samaria. Oh yeah, throughout Judea and Samaria. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, perfect. Right. Yep. What about Saul? Well, it, it, he was not the guy that uh, God... Well, God was using him, but he was a negative guy. You could actually say God was using him. So God was using Saul, but in a bad way. Right? So I think that's a good point. He was using Saul, but he was a wicked man still. He made trouble. Yeah. And that made him scatter. So God was using Saul. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Perfect. Okay. Now it's Darlene. Your your turn. Second, you do the next one. Hand over to Darlene. Second Corinthians 5, 18, 20. Is that right? He's looking up there. Okay, I am. <laughs> I better read. Okay, he's gonna um check it out. Uh, oh, so I'm not the five, eighteen, twenty. Yes, I'm not there yet. Okay. Yeah, Darlene, when you leave, just. Give the guys time to find the verse and let somebody else do the reading. Try not to do the reading. Yep. Yeah, I can listen. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. What's the what's the two Corinthians? Five uh, eighteen twenty. Who's like 18, 20? <coughs> oh, isn't it? Sorry, folks. There wasn't a lot of my reading. Oh, no, yes, it's right. 2 Corinthians 5 is 18 to 20 is correct. Oh, 5, 5. Yeah, 5. Sorry, I thought it was 18, 2 no. Corinthians. Yeah, no, 2nd, yeah. No. Oh, yeah, I'll read. Um, all this is from God, who, recon who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation that God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ not counting people's sins against them and he has committed to us the message of reconciliation we are therefore Christ's ambassadors as though God were making his appeal through us we implore you on Christ's behalf be reconciled to God Okay, so and what's my question? <laughs> who's re who's God reconciling to? Is that right? No, who is God no. using? Oh, using. Yeah, okay. If you can, you can see in the screen, there's actually a question there at the top. Sorry, I'm looking at that. Okay, sorry. Yeah, so there's one then, that says. When, uh, sorry, who does God want to? Sorry. Okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> sorry. It's fine. Where am I? Us. Us. God's using us? Is that right? Yeah, I think you're right. Because... Through, through Christ. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, I think he's using I've us. I've got to go back and look at the scripture. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but hang on. Okay. Us. So, what does God want to? Okay. Genesis 2. So, what's the next one? Oh, so the next question is on the other side is how far does God want us to go? Oh, there it is. Sorry, mm -hmm. I just seen it. Yeah. Yeah, how, he, yeah, how far, Nick? Um, Sorry, folks. You're doing great. Um, well, I, I, wouldn't it be... What is it? How far does God want to go? For everywhere. Yeah, it's everywhere basically. Yeah, because we got we're his ambassadors, so we're everywhere. we're the ones that he wants to use. All the world that yeah. he's using, yeah. So we're yeah. Be everywhere. Yeah. Reconciling the world to himself. Yeah. Yeah, it's everywhere. Yeah, right. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um and then are you okay, Darlene, to do the last one as well? I'll give it a go. Revelations okay. oh. Revelation seven nineteen. Yeah. Revelation seven nineteen. He's gonna do that. Yeah. Oh. Take, uh, do you want me to read the thing or do you wanna read? <laughs> I don't mind reading. Um uh it's after this I looked and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count from every nation, tribe, people and language standing before the throne and before the Lamb. They were wearing white robes and were holding palm branches in their hands and they cried out in a loud voice, salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. Everybody. Well, great multitude. Quite enough. Every every tribe, people, and language would it be? Everyone. Yeah, isn't it? yeah I would agree with you, um, uh, Nikki. It's everyone. So he does say there through. Uh, uh, yeah, he does say all that. So every language, every nation, every tribe, in every language. Yeah, I like that. Good answer. And um, I'll listen. Um, how <coughs> far? Sorry, everywhere. Everywhere. How far does God want to go? <coughs> everywhere. Yeah, to me, because He's got every nation in there, tribe, mm. people, and language. So yeah, it would be man. everywhere. Mm -hmm. The whole earth. Multitude, yeah. Number. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree with you because he says that every nation, tribe, people, and language. So, so what's your language, your home language, um, Darlene? Maori. Ma Mali. Ma Maori. 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 Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Maori, Afrikaans, Hindi, uh, Australian every nation we're all there together one place mm. finally we're in heaven because it's talking about yeah. heaven we're there yeah. and unto the land the throne just to get the throne yeah it's so like uh, 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 that sit, yes, seated uh, upon the throne <laughs> and unto the land yeah that's great Okay, and yes, then I just... have one question. Yes. So uh, when we will go in heaven, and what language we will use there? Hindi. 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 Your father's language. <laughs> your father's language. Let me. Let me. 
<laughs> Father's language? Oh wow. Super. Are, are you stirring us? Are you making trouble? <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, there we are. We've done it. So now you know how to do the study with people. So you've learned to take this piece of paper out. They, they, Nikki is just showing us her piece of paper. So she is ready and she can get her, her marks for attendance. And, and I've got an example here that I'll email you guys as well. But you can do this now with a friend. So you've learned in this session how to do it. And, and, uh, and that will... So what does this do to you? When you when you do this lesson, what do you think does it mean to you and to us? Let's give everybody a chance. So let's ask, Vivek, what does this study, when you do this, what does it move in your heart? How does it make you feel and what do you think it's pushing you to do? Yeah, it's... Uh, it... <coughs> let's show. Yes, yeah, sorry, sorry. Fine. Actually, um, having call na, and the evening time, I'm getting like this when it's uh, increasing mm -hmm. day time, and then. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, <coughs> yeah really, it is a, it is good subject. Uh, we can say that uh, mm -hmm. when when we are uh, learning about the uh, this subject, <coughs> we can know about the uh, God's objective and man objective, and which is which is things good sight of god and uh, which is bad uh, which is things bad uh, sight of god just we can learn about that and we can we can choose what i have to do how to live in this world because we are in the world not of the world mm. so just we can uh, we can uh, get a lot of things and a lot of things having to learn in our heart and we can uh, uh, we can uh, have conscience yeah we can right, <laughs> right. and uh, Nick, so Nikki how does this make you feel and what does it want you to do what is when you go through these scriptures what do you think God is saying to you how does it make you feel what do you think God is saying to you Nikki um, it makes me feel like it's for me and like personally yeah, and I can go out there and give it to everyone out there. Yeah, and yeah, that's great. And even if it's slowly, and even if it's one person, and even if it's one mum, or even if it's one family member, you don't don't have to run out. Everybody is not the same. Like if you're a mum at home with kids, man, God's going to give you opportunities. You just need to be patient. You you equipping yourself, and He's going to use you somewhere so just be patient yeah, and good. Darlene what about you when we go through this how does it make you feel and what do you think God wants from you or is, is kind of moving you towards um, what was that first scripture we read before not this Matthew go chapter 28 go out there and be make disciples yes Matthew chapter 28 yeah that's that's, that's it there yeah but it makes me feel um, oh sorry mum uh yeah it's just getting getting in line and listening and um uh, be careful what, do you, what is it be be of che good cheer <laughs> Be yeah. a good skin and get out there and do it. Yeah, right, right. Yes, and that's you know? a, yeah. Don't be fearful because I don't know. You just have a bit of. A, I had a bit of a fear, you know, when you have to face, turn around and face people. But when you've got something like this, thank yeah. you, uh, Stein. It makes it. It simplifies it. Yeah. It breaks it down, and and you got You can work with it. You know. Yeah. Yeah. You just gotta you go over it and over it and over it, and then it just becomes um, first language. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that's what it is. Yes, yeah. it's just like keep keep practicing, practicing, and and you can do it. So you know, we we have time. We don't have to do it tomorrow. We and nobody is like that. None of us run out there tomorrow. Now we do it, so we learn. We just keep on training. 
We just enrolled for training. That's why the word disciple means student. We just keep on training and practicing, and then eventually we grow in our confidence. I mean, look at Nikki. When Nikki joined this group, she was she was shy. She didn't want to speak. She was insecure. Insecure. Nikki has grown so much in this group. Nikki is confident. She's giving good answers. She's training us. I can see. I can see how your daughter have grown, uh, Dolly, just by attending yeah, all these yeah. sessions. What, what do you What do you think, Dolly? Yes, yes, I agree totally. Yeah, Nikki. What do you think? Yeah, I like it. I, I enjoy it. I enjoy coming on here because it's it's easy to understand and I'm not sure to say if I don't understand then. Yeah. Help. Yeah. You guys I'm have done such a great job. Yeah. And and Vivek's got heaps of humor. Hey, yes. Yeah, he's make, making it funny and he makes us laugh, which is great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. And uh, we've got to thank you. Um I mean, you, you put all this together, you know. Yeah, thanks, Dan. Yeah, it's a great pleasure. And and uh, I also learned from other guys, you know, so I've just put it in a format that we can train easier. But other guys, I've also learned from somebody else. You know what? I'm not, uh, it, it's not my brainchild. So I'm like you, I learned. So. Yeah, but, but then you got that information and then you're giving that information out. So, yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's a great pleasure. Can I say something? Yes, yeah. Do you know yeah. what makes it easier to come back? What? Is that you're always there to help and don't make me feel like I'm just wasting your time. I really Otherwise, appreciate. if I felt like that, then I wouldn't come back. I really appreciate what you're saying. And uh, uh, and yeah. yes, we, yeah. we are committed to one another and we are patient with one another and we want to build one another up. So I really appreciate what you just said there. And then, and I love you all. Love you guys. Yeah, love you, bro. Yes, yeah. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> love you, Vivek. <laughs> yes, praise God. I'm thinking I'm I'm thinking when my wife will talk with you. I don't know. Just I'm thinking I, I'm trying to teach them English. Then it will be easy. <laughs> it's good. Oh, and otherwise, we need to translate. We need to translate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should learn um, NB. Yeah. Learn your language. Yeah. So. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> All right. So, who would like to pray for us? And then we close off and go back to our families. <coughs> hey, mom. There we go. Good. Oh, thank you, Lord, for everybody. Um, I just pray that you look after everyone, and if anyone's sick, heal them. Mm. In Jesus' name, I pray. Mm. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. God yes. bless you all. You too. God bless. Yeah.